Hey everybody, Mark here. I'm going to give you a brief project overview of the Home Sweet Home state signs. I'm going to start by showing you how to set it up in the Glowforge app, and then I'll finish by showing you how to assemble the physical product. So here's the Minnesota state uh, sign that I have here open in the Glowforge. And if you're going to do it like I did it, I used two different kinds of material. I used a walnut plywood and a maple plywood to give it some contrast. So what I'm going to do here is I'm first going to choose, the, of course, the wood that I'm going to use for the maple. So I chose that up here in the, in the top left. I'm sure you guys know how to do that already. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work through these pieces real quick and choose the settings and ignore the ones I don't want to do. So for example, for the maple, all I'm going to do is the sweet home and then this back piece right here. Everything else I'm going to ignore. Now you could either choose ignore or you could drag them off the workspace, whichever, but I'm going to choose ignore. So working from the top, sweet home is going to be cut. And this, uh, these are the, um, this right here is the two circles over on this side. I don't need that. Home I'm going to ignore. Uh, that one I'm going to cut. This one I'm going to ignore. This one I'm going to ignore, and the base I'm going to ignore. So all I've got is this one here, Sweet Home, to cut out, and then the back piece. So then I'll go ahead and, and hit Print, cut those out, and then I'll work back through it real quick, go Ignore, and I'm going to ignore that one completely because I'm not going to use that one. Cut, and Ignore, 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 whoops, sorry, <laughs> Cut, and then the base. And then you can uh, you can move these around wherever you need to uh, to get it on your material, but those are the pieces I'm going to cut from the walnut, the home, and then the base. So now that you got all that cut out, let's jump over to looking at how the pieces go together. All right, here are all the pieces for the home sweet home states project. There's just three main pieces, and then the words sweet home. So let me show you how this goes together. So you can take the front piece here and you can put it on the back piece. And you'll wanna go ahead and line these up here so you align the top edges there so that you have the tab sticking out on the bottom and get that nice and perfectly lined up and then glue that together. Once that glue is completely dry, then you can be ready to put in the base. I'm gonna go ahead and do it, of course, without glue just for this example. Also, let me point out, you notice how there's a wider space here than here. This wider side is the front. So make sure when you put this on here, you, you make that toward the front. So you're gonna go ahead and put that into the base just like that. And of course it's gonna be nice and lined up because you've already glued it ahead of time. But since I have not, I'm going to do this by hand. All right, so you've got that all nice and lined up. All right, just like that. And then now, the easiest way to do this next part, I can't do it here on camera because I can't get close enough to the edge of a table. Uh, so tell you what, I'll grab something off camera here and fake it. So I'm going to move these letters down out of my own way. And uh, let's grab a couple other home sweet home things. What I would do is I would set this just on the edge of a table with this being the edge so that it's nice and flat. In fact, let me see if I can do this. Yeah, we'll do it just like that. And then that way you can set the letters on there and glue them and it won't go anywhere. So here's a couple of keys of how to center this pretty easily. The letter T can go right up into this space, at least on Minnesota, or it can go right next to the letter M. So you can put that right there. And then the H is gonna end up right about here as well. And you can just work backwards from the T. Home, sweet. And it's kind of fun to let these uh, letters be placed a little organically. They don't have to be absolutely perfect, uh, perfectly straight, but you want to have them pretty well spaced left to right. And then home, just like this. And so because I'm a nerd, but I'm uh, kind of a lazy nerd, I'll use anything that's close, like a pencil, and I'll just kind of measure the distance here and see if that's close and it's not quite what I want. So I'm just gonna met, I'm just gonna tuck these in just a little bit further. And you can use whatever you want to get this the spacing that you desire there. Yeah, that's about what I want. 
So you just glue those on, let that dry, and you are good to go. This one's really easy to put together and it looks great for gifts. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'd love to see what you create with them. Until then, as always, I'll see you in the next one.